Hello and welcome to mock tour number seven. This is the mock that I've been talking about in the last couple of updates, the very large one. And as I zoom out, you can see it is a church. Quite big, um, as I mentioned, uh, over 7,000 pieces. It is on four 32 by 32 base plates. The church itself takes up around two of them on the left. Then the cemetery uh, with the trees and garden take up the other two. Uh, that there is detailed little tombstones and also on the other side of course and then the garden as well. So I will get into the actual tour. There's a lot to talk about, so I'll get straight into it. So firstly, the stained glass. At the moment I have my iPod torch on in there. Um, I don't have any Lego light bricks or anything like that. So um, that is just what's in there at the moment. I don't plan on getting any lights in there for it, uh, but I just thought it looked a lot better with the light in there to show you first up. It sort of looked quite dark with no light in there. But the stained glass is all made of one by one plates, uh, all side on. I was thinking of using the cheese slopes. I was a bit lazy in trying to get them to work and I uh, just went with the one by one plates. And there are little stained glasses, little stained glass windows all the way around the church. Each one is unique, not one is the same, so as you can imagine, it took an awful lot of time to put all the windows together, but I think the effect is quite spectacular. The facade is made up of all sorts of different types of bricks, including the one by two, I think they call them palisade bricks, obviously the standard one by two bricks. Uh, one by one round bricks, one by one plates, and one by one round plates. I uh, try to mix it up as much as possible to make it look older and have a sort of modelled type effect so that it looked old and not so much decayed but certainly aged. So yeah, I suppose in a way the the facade and the way it looks has ballooned the brick count out quite a lot. So over 7,000 as I mentioned uh, does seem like a lot but a lot of them are the smaller brick pieces a lot like uh, what the modular official modular series seems to have done these days they seem to be more about the smaller pieces than uh, the larger building as a whole okay so as we come around um, do excuse the lighting although I have lights in here now they're not, probably not exactly as bright as I was hoping the whole room would be, but bear with me. Um, so we have, as I mentioned before, stained glass around the whole side of the church. Every single nook and cranny has stained glass in it, uh, just obviously for effect. And that's how real churches are, so I wanted to make it as close to that as possible. And there are three doors, all uh, brick built. So there's one, that's the side one. This large one is the best, it does actually open. The others will open, but uh, they, they sort of tend to pull part of the wall with them. So um, I won't be opening them too often. They, I guess, will end up being more for show than anything. This one and the one on the other side opposite are those ones. Um, more stained glass around here and the flower and the round end as it is uh, custom in a lot of these older churches. So again bear with me the light I have to swivel things around rather than just move the camera because the light doesn't come around to the back here with the shadow so 
now we're on the other side of the rounded end and yeah there is stained glass in the end there as well I might move the iPod for you okay so there's a better idea of the stained glass in the end here uh, when I open it up I'll show you but it is pretty messy in that end getting that corner was particularly difficult and getting all of the col the colors to line up with the windows was a little difficult so yeah it is a bit messy but uh, later on I'll take the roof off because it is modular uh, and I'll show you the inside um, panning around here we have a vine crawling up that wall so that wall doesn't have stained glass and that will become more apparent when you see the interior as to why and here's the other door that I was referring to that doesn't open all that well and then pretty much a mirror image of the other side and just panning out um, there's three trees in the garden in total and um, numerous headstones including one that looks like is pretty fresh the path is all brick built as well of course uh, mostly one by one plates round and square and then yeah a few few of the larger two by two tiles to give a little bit of a different uh, look and of course we have the mandatory skeleton I'm not sure exactly where I'll place him yet but uh, I quite like skeletons I've got another torso and head I'm just waiting to find some legs and arms for that one as well and I'll probably look to get a few more if I can every time I keep it on the wanted list on Bricklink so that every time I go to a shop I see if they they have it or not so I'll be looking out for more of those then we have a little fancier sort of tomb almost here um, that door does not open it's just for show but yeah I quite like the look of the little tomb with all the decorations on the outside slightly fancier box type tomb there as well okay so moving up to the roof uh the roof this style of roof i guess as well as the facade i got a lot of ideas from the history forum on Eurobricks. there's some amazing inspiration on um, or in that forum if you haven't uh, checked it out yet i i highly advise that you go and have a look some of the mocks on there are just incredible uh, the amount of bricks and the amount of effort and work that goes into each of those uh, is just unbelievable uh, some amazing builders over there so yeah you'll probably notice some of the techniques on the roof and the facade being used in a lot of those mocks as well so yeah that's uh, you know one of the sides of the cross there uh, the slope roof and the tiles and other plates on there just to give it a bit of texture uh, also these uh, one by one round bricks something I I think I got that off the history forum as well um, that idea to have them running all the way down um, on this roof as well the um, again this this round bit at the back uh, I'm not really 100% happy with that at the moment it's um, you know with those gaps there I'm just I couldn't think of a better way to do it and yeah unfortunately it it could be better and um, maybe one day I can revisit it and try and think of a better way to do it but yeah for the moment that will that will have to do and finally the two large towers at the front uh, they are you know similar design to the way the cafe corner has the, the little turret thing um, just with the larger wedge plates um, and these this detail uh, was you know it's something that you see that sort of detail on um, the roofs of a lot of uh, the churches I was trying to get that sort of look of the the finely detailed pieces of of stone that they have on a lot of the the roofs and so on of the old old European churches 
uh, and of course the parrots acting as the little gargoyles um, that you often see on um, a lot of those older churches. So the roof does come off in one section. It is relatively stable. Uh, I can pick it up. Uh, I do need two hands to pick it up, so I was going to show you, but I do need two hands to pick it up. Particularly the front is pretty heavy, so if you pick it up by one end, it will probably break, but you can quite comfortably pick it up with two hands. I had done a lot of work on it uh, just actually before I shot the video to strengthen particularly the side um, sections, that, that section and that section uh, to strengthen it quite a lot, which has really worked. So it's actually relatively stable now. But moving on to the interior, it does have a full interior, although you know, often churches are relatively sparse of sort of furniture and so on. So as I said, it's a bit of a mess back there with the stained glass. I managed to make it sort of look nice in terms of the top, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty messy. So I'm not going to show you that too, too close. Um, but there is, I think they call that the pulpit. Um, not a very religious person. I just know that most towns have churches, that's why I wanted one. Uh, then we have the little section that the um, minister will stand up on to give his sermon. A little stairs going down with the microphone there um, for him to stand on over everyone. Uh, just the, on this side, if I can get the camera in there, just some furniture down there, a cabinet and a pew. And then on this side, get the light in there for you, is the organ. Um, so I know some churches have the organs sort of above where the pulpit and stuff is, uh, but also some do have them on the side like this. Um, and this is just the way it worked out better to have it on the side for this one. So there's all of those pipes being the organ and uh, obviously the keys down there as well and that's the wall that has the vine growing up it obviously I didn't want to have a stained glass window there because you wouldn't really be able to see much and it would have been a bit of a waste of time um, then back down the main section is just all the pews what's there two four six eight ten ten pews so ten mini figs plus the side there that's a pretty good amount i think so yeah there's uh the interior without um obviously fully tiled as well um you know the obviously the different shades of brown representing the different colors of wood that you can get and there's the interior hopefully not giving too much away of how i did the stained glass but not that it's a secret um but yeah that's Obviously the arches are just on the outside that make it uh, look a lot more churchy. And so lastly, I just wanted to give you a comparison of size. When I was designing and building this, I thought it was pretty massive. But as soon as I put it on the table next to some of the other modulars, I realised that it wasn't as big as I thought. Um, the towers I had hoped would be the tallest part of the tallest building in the city. Um, but I've just brought the town hall across to give you a comparison. The town hall is actually taller, which is a little bit disappointing from my point of view. I did want the church to be massive, but you know, that's the way towns are nowadays. They do tower over the older buildings, so I guess it's not all totally bad, but uh, yeah, I was hoping for it to be a little bit bigger. I guess I should have looked at the actual brick dimensions rather than just thinking, well, it's on four base plates, it's gonna be massive. But obviously the depth is a lot bigger than what the regular modulars are, so I'm gonna have to have that challenge of how to fit it into the city because it will have to have modulars on either side of it. 
and you know one will be facing backwards one will be facing forwards so yeah it will be interesting to see how I can fit it into the city um, it does have obviously the entrance here and then there's also a little back entrance fence goes all the way around um, but there is a little entrance there as well so it can go out onto the path so that just about wraps this one up uh, I hope it's been worth the wait. I know it's been many months since I posted a mock video and that is mainly because I haven't had anything built. This is the first mock that I've completed in, in quite some time. Um, those of you who do follow my videos will know that I've been pretty busy with getting this room together. Uh, if you didn't know, please have a look back through some of the city updates that has a, a bit of a map as to how this room came about and all of that and that will also explain why I haven't had so many mocks of late. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the, the tour. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed, do so. Uh, don't forget to like, comment as well. And thanks for watching, I will see you in the next update.